Today, Killer Kurt goes camping with two amigos in Prescott, Arizona. Looks like the bike is packed. We've got our tent. We've got a sleeping bag. we got all kinds of stuff packed on that bike. We're going to do an overnight stay in a campground up in Prescott, Arizona. I'm going to meet my friends along the way, so let's ride. Okay, looks like we're meeting up with my two amigos, Rob and Sean. And we're having uh, Jerry as our additional plus one amigo today. Joining us to our first stop for breakfast in Wickenburg, Arizona. Jerry's going to join us on the first leg to Wickenburg and have breakfast with us. And he has to turn around and go back and take care of some business back in Phoenix, looks like. So he will be with us on the ride toward Wickenburg for breakfast. Welcome to Wickenburg, Arizona. Tomorrow, this morning we're going to have a breakfast at the Horseshoe Cafe. Horseshoe Cafe is well known for their super large pancakes. They overhang the plate. That's how big they are. I was telling my guys here, I was thinking about getting me a pancake, not to eat it. I was going to fold it up and use a pillow in my tent tonight. But uh, we're going to have a good breakfast here. Then we're going to say goodbye to Jerry. Jerry's going to head back to Phoenix there. So, let's enjoy our breakfast. Okay, we're back on the road. We're going to be taking our ride up to, heading up to Jerome, Arizona, so we can stay at the White Spar Campground this afternoon. But we're going to go ahead and pass through Congress, Arizona first, and head up on through Yarnell, Arizona. We're going to go through Peoples Valley, and then we're going to go right through Prescott, Arizona. Heading further north, we're going to right up to Jerome, Arizona. They've got a mining town up there. We're going to check out and have lunch there. And then we're going to double back and come back down to um, the Prescott and uh, stay at the White Spar campground then. So let's go enjoy some more of our ride.
Alright, so we're leaving Wickenburg, heading north, Arizona 89. The first town we pass through is Congress, Arizona. Once a gold mining center for the Congress mine, and then a ghost town, Congress now serves as a retirement and bedroom community for nearby Wickenburg. Once you leave Congress, you'll enter Yarnell Hill on the way to the town of Yarnell. Yarnell Hill is a very curvy and very steep pass. Uh, it's located between the town of Yarnell and Congress again. But again, it's, it's beautiful. It's got nice views. We really enjoyed the ride through there. Next, we're coming up to, after uh, getting out of the Yarnell Pass there, we come right into the town of Yarnell. Yarnell, Arizona is a very small but beautiful town with friendly people. Yarnell caters mostly to ranching, mining, and provides services to travelers that pass through. The next town we ride through is Peoples Valley, Arizona. What you'll find here is friendly people, cattle and horse ranches, beautiful flat lands, uh, lots of property out there I heard still for sale. It's very beautiful. Peoples Valley is named after a prospector, A.H. Uh, Peoples, with Peoples being spelled P-E-P-L-E-S. He was the leader of the group that discovered Rich Hill, um, a gold deposit uh, in Weaver, Arizona in 1863, I believe. Uh, so a little history for you there. Um, as we continue our ride, heading into the Prescott National Forest on Arizona 89, you're going to find the road gets very twisty with lots of 15 to 20 mile per hour turns. It's lots of beautiful trees and breathtaking scenery as we drive through this forest. I hope you enjoy the scenery in this. Uh, we enjoyed riding through it. Looking forward to our stay at White Spar Campground outside of Prescott. If you camp at White Spar, you need firewood. Here's a tip for you. Just north of camp, uh, Arizona 89, there's a Safeway grocery store there. It'll be on your left, just three minutes from camp. They sell firewood there. Pretty reasonable too. Uh, so we loaded up some firewood for camp that night. Okay, let's go ahead and get back to our ride. Here we are in Jerome, Arizona. Here we find Rob and Sean checking out the jail. 
the one that's new modern bathroom facilities. I think we'll wander across the street and check out some of the little shops they have down there. Who knows what we'll find walking down the street. We were told by locals to look out down the alleys there might be ghosts in town. Walking down the sidewalk you can find all kinds of stores such as jewelry stores, antique stores, collectibles, uh, even a candy store and popcorn store, uh, gift shops, lots and lots of great restaurants and bars. Uh, the parking gets pretty busy around there on weekends. Uh, it's, just, it's just a busy shopping area um, for an old mining town. And so Sean found this and said I should buy this so on my next trip up to Jerome, I can bring the dog and my wife together. I tell him I'm going to have to think about this. After having lunch at Bobby D's Barbecue in Jerome, Arizona, we all three drove back to Prescott to set up our camp at White Spar Campground. Here's where we put up our tents for the evening. It actually turned out to be a really nice spot. We had a little fire pit there and picnic table and plenty of room to put up all three of our tents so um, we're just gonna put things up settle down a little bit and get things uh, set up for camp this is Rob and Sean cheering me on as I put up my tent for the evening this was the area where we got to park our bikes up on the road there and then we uh, took the path there right down takes you right down to our little camping area so we, our bikes were up on the hill, and we were down the hill in our little camp area there. So as uh, Rob was setting up his tent, Rob made a new little friend there slithering by his tent. <laughs> as you see, this is a uh, king snake, uh, which gets confused for a coral snake, which is really poisonous. But this is uh, definitely a king snake. Uh, good news is, it is not venomous. Um, it grows to about 36 to 60 inches long, so three, you know, three to six feet. Uh, lifespan's like 10 to 15 years for them. Uh, they usually feed on small rodents and bugs and whatnot. So uh, as long as Rob kept his finger away from the uh, mouth of the snake, I think he's pretty safe. You can't take him home, Rob. Leave him there. After we got our tents all set up and all ready for the evening. Uh, Rob let us know that he had a couple of friends in, uh, that lived up in Dewey, Arizona, which is about a half hour away from our camp. So we proceeded over to have uh, supper with them at Casa Perez Mexican Restaurant. Again, that's in Dewey, Arizona. Had a great evening over there. Had some nice food. Uh, the company was great. Rob's two friends were awesome. Uh, but when we came out to the parking lot, it was dark. We were kind of tired and uh, ready to go back to camp. That's when things took a little turn for the worse for me. Hi right, everybody, it's uh, 1.15 Tuesday morning. I just can't sleep yet. Um, looks like tomorrow morning I'm getting out of this hospital. Uh, actually probably afternoon. Uh, many of you may not know, I had a little accident on my motorcycle. Uh, put the kickstand down, uh, it lost balance, it started to topple over and threw me to the ground. Uh, it turns out I have a broken collarbone, um, two cracked ribs. Um, I had surgery early this morning. Things are looking good, feeling better. Um, just want to give you an update. I'll probably do another one of these and uh, after I get out of the hospital and uh, give you guys more of an update what's going on. Talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> So this is what the damage looks like. A lot of bruising and the surgery left me with a nice little metal plate right across the collarbone with a bunch of screws holding it together. So lots of recovery time coming up. So the funny thing about this freak accident was that I thought the fall just knocked the wind out of me. Not knowing I had a broken clavicle and two broken ribs. I rode back 30 minutes to camp that evening and then not got any sleep at all that night because of the pain. 
uh, next morning, we packed up with Rob and Sean and rode back two hours to my home in El Mirage, Arizona. I showered when I got home and went to urgent care emergency. Did I ride the, my bike? <laughs> no way. I drove my car there with only the use of my left arm. Uh, I went. To, I want to thank Rob and Sean so much for taking care of me while I was injured up there and escorting me back to El Mirage, Arizona. Um, I also want to thank all the wonderful people at Deer Valley Trauma Center. Uh, thanks to Dr. Staples, yeah, that's his real name, for the surgery and putting my collarbone back together. I'll do another video in the future about my progress and what changes to my writing future that might uh, happen. So this is KLR Kurt, still in a lot of pain, saying, be careful out there.